Delving into the intriguing history of George Washington, it's fascinating to unearth the myths and truths that have been passed down through generations. Today, we're going to crack open the history books and debunk some of the most common myths about America's first president. Was his smile really made of wood? Did he chop down a cherry tree in his youth? And the mystery will finally unravel, the question of his alleged secret spy ring. So, buckle up as we dive into the world of myth and facts surrounding America's first president, George Washington. First off, let's tackle the myth that has been a part of American folklore for centuries, the cherry tree incident. You've probably heard the story, a young George Washington, armed with a new hatchet, takes a swing at his father's precious cherry tree. When confronted, he bravely confesses, I cannot tell a lie, I did it with my little hatchet. It's a charming tale of honesty triumphing over mischief, right? Well, not quite. This story, as beloved as it is, is actually a fabrication. It was invented by one of Washington's first biographers, a man named Mason Locke Weems. Weems was a storyteller and he knew the power of a good tale. He created this anecdote to illustrate Washington's virtuous character and it has stuck around ever since. So it turns out the cherry tree story is just a tall tale. Now let's sink our teeth into another myth, George Washington's wooden dentures. You may have heard the tale that our first president George Washington sported a set of wooden teeth. It's an image that's both amusing and a bit horrifying, but it's not the truth. In reality, Washington's dental woes were well documented, but his dentures weren't made of wood. Instead, they were crafted from a rather unsettling assortment of materials. His dentures were actually a concoction of human teeth, cow, and horse teeth, along with ivory. Imagine that. It's less of a fairy tale image, and more of a dental nightmare. Washington suffered from dental problems most of his life, and these crude dentures were his solution. Not exactly a comfortable one, we imagine. So, the next time you hear the wooden teeth myth, remember the reality. So, no wooden teeth for our first president, just a rather uncomfortable set of dentures. From teeth to rebellion, let's take a look at another fascinating episode of Washington's life. Ever heard of the Whiskey Rebellion? Here's a little known fact about George Washington that might just knock your socks off. In 1794 during his presidency, Washington led an army against his own citizens in what is known as the Whiskey Rebellion. Shocking, isn't it? The rebellion was a protest by farmers in Pennsylvania who were against the new tax imposed on whiskey. They saw it as a direct attack on their livelihood. In response, Washington, in an unprecedented move, led a massive force of 13,000 militiamen to quell the rebellion. This marked the first and only time a sitting U.S. president led troops in the field. So not only was Washington a president and a potential king, he was also a military leader during his presidency. From wooden teeth to whiskey rebellions, George Washington's life was anything but ordinary. So next time you sip on that whiskey, remember the rebellion it once sparked. Did Washington really refuse to be king? Let's find out. We delve into the pages of history we find that George Washington was indeed offered the opportunity to become the King of America. A tempting offer one might say. Now, you may be wondering, why anyone turned down such a chance? His decision to decline the offer of kingship was not an act of modesty but rather a testament to his commitment to democracy. He chose to be a president, a public servant, rather than a king. So it's true. Washington could have been a king but he chose to be a president. But here's the twist, he refused. Washington a man of principles, he firmly believed in a democratic system of government where power is not concentrated in the hands a single individual. He envisioned a country where the people were the ultimate authority, where leaders were chosen by the citizens themselves. Today we've embarked on an exciting exploration of the captivating legends surrounding George Washington. We've navigated through these narratives from tales of cherry trees to wooden teeth, and even delved into the less familiar spy myth. However, as we've discovered, not all narratives hold truth, though some are especially captivating. The fable of young George and the cherry tree, a story symbolizing honesty and integrity, was actually the brainchild of biographer Parson Weems. The widespread belief that Washington owned wooden dentures also turned out to be a myth. His actual set of false teeth was an amalgamation of various materials, encompassing ivory, gold, lead, and human teeth. And the spy myth? Well, that's a tale we'll save for another occasion. Whether woven from myth or fact, the enduring legacy George Washington continues to mold the United States. We appreciate your company on this historical adventure.